Well, it's finally here. If you are a big video game fan, your thoughts on video games can change over time. Don't lie. I made a community post saying some changes to the ranking system on mainline Sonic games. Well, how Sonic Adventure 1 is better than SA2, and how Sonic Mania still remains number one rather than Frontiers. This, this video was made to yet another change of opinions. So, welcome to the video where I state in my personal opinion on why I think Sonic Colors is a better game than Sonic Generations. Yes. I did just say that. Let's take a look at what most people think about both games. When Sonic Colors first came out, it was a commercial success compared to games like Sonic Unleashed, Heroes, and even the Adventure games. People liked how unique Sonic Colors was, whether it being the Wisps or the Areas. It was considered great by both the fanbase and the general public. However, the fanbase has started to destroy the game, and it's gone wild. They called the game bad, and even underrated. Personally, I absolutely loved Sonic Colors in almost every way possible, and the general public still loves this game today. On to Sonic Generations, both the general public and fanbase loved the game back then, and still today think the same way. By the way, I want to get this out of the way. I still love Sonic Generations, and I think both Colors and Generations are masterpieces. I just like Colors more with reasons I'll get into in a minute. Overall, Sonic Generations is loved much more than Colors. And like I said, I respectfully disagree. So just to say now, if you like Sonic Generations more, that is okay. I'm just speaking my opinion out. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with the story. If there's one thing controversial about both games, it's the stories. Both the stories suffer from the same issues. The writing is mediocre, the voice acting was kinda poor, and the humor is cringy. All of these problems are agreed for most of the fan base. However, I personally don't think Sonic Color's story is that bad. I found I found the new voice acting to be entertaining, and the humor in this game does get a laugh out of me at times. Eggman, I am going to save this planet, and I am going to free these aliens. No copyright law in the universe is going to stop me. Yes, there are some jokes that are cringy, but I still found some of it to be funny. The writing is kind of disappointing when you realize that Unleashed came after, Bruh. came before I meant, but it's not too bad. Meanwhile, Generations barely had anything for the story. At least with colors, there's a handful of moments that actually feel like a story. Before you say, but the classic games barely had, a, had stories written too. Those are early classic 90s style games. They were focused on show don't tell, meanwhile with Generations, that game has no excuse for barely having a story compared to other 3D games. Alright, let's say they're cool. Let's move on to the gameplay now. Alright, before we start, big props to Matt has no cuts for the points in the Tales channel and his video on how Sonic Colors is not overrated. Those videos make great points and I will link them in the description. First off, the level design. The level design in Sonic Colors is definitely one of the most unique level designs in a Sonic game. The Wisps, the Wisps in this game have their best usage, their best usage by far, and they really work in this game's favor. I especially love Wisps like Laser, Frenzy, and especially Drill. Man, Drill is good. Now, the other Wisps were good too. I can't name a single wisp in the game in this game that I don't like. The wisps, bruh, 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 bruh. the wisps, especially work in the game's boss fights. The boss fights in, are the most underrated boss fights in the entire series. Sure, they're easy, but they're still fun and unique. Especially the final boss. That is good. Back to Sonic Colors level design. It can, it can appeal to both casuals and completionists. You are rewarded s ranks when you work hard to get the best possible routes with the Wisps, while also completing the stage fast. And on top of all of that, you have to you have 
to get the red rings. These things increase your score by 30,000. So not only are they there for exploration, but they also help you get an S rank. Meanwhile, with Generations, that game only appeals to casuals. So the ranking system in Generations especially shows it. The ranking system in Sonic Generations has got to be the worst ranking system in the entire franchise. I'm not kidding. Like, all you have to do is not die. Like, what? You serious? All you have to do is not die in a stage and you will get an S rank. You should not be able to get S ranks on your first playthrough, which is exactly what Matt has covered in his Sonic Colors video. Yeah, I know I reused that statement, but it was too good to not include. Like, how do you mess up a ranking system that was good before? While the level design is still fantastic, that doesn't excuse how the how the ranking system is trash. It's so easy. Does this make Sonic Generations boring? No, not at all. <clears throat> it's just not as fun as colors as when you realize that the S ranks are way too easy in this game, while it's actually challenging to get S ranks in Sonic Colors. Sonic Colors is easy to follow, but hard to master. That's the best thing about the game. It appeals to ev it appeals to all players. Yet some players are still trash this game despite of that. All right, let's take a cool and let's just move on to the soundtracks now. <laughs> The soundtrack of Sonic Colors is fantastic because it has quite a bit of variety. It has a mix of techno and piano style songs. They are also used in other instruments as well, especially in the final boss theme. Listen to this tune. Make sure to skip to 11 minutes if you don't want to hear the full song. Though so, you probably
the soundtrack it has some of the largest playlists of soundtrack in the entire series. Probably, probably next to who the Adventure Game soundtrack in Shadow of the Hedgehog. But yeah, uh, there there is so many good tunes in this game. Sonic Generation soundtrack is great too. Granted, it's not as appealing as it was in Sonic Colors, but it's still nice to listen to. I just find in Sonic Colors soundtrack to be more memorable and more worth mentioning. I mean, there is just wow. If there's one thing about Sonic the Hedgehog that's always do well, even if the game is good or bad, and the soundtrack, nine times out of ten, it will always be good. Anyways, the soundtrack for both of these games are awesome. Definitely spectacular. Anyways, let's move on to the Sonic Colors remaster, Sonic Colors Ultimate. Now, Sonic Colors Ultimate, in my opinion, is the definitive version of the game. Yes, I realize how controversial this game is, but I gotta be honest with myself, guys. It's near imperfection in my opinion. You get 60 FPS, you get Rival Rush mode, you got you get an extra Wisp, you got Tails to save, you got pretty much everything. Not to mention how the soundtrack, well, more time, well for the most part, is actually better than the original soundtrack for Sonic Colors. This 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 version of the game is the best way to play the game. Granted, it is a little bit glitchy at certain at certain times, but still, you get. Oh, the wonderful graphics along with the things I just mentioned. This game is, n this remaster is near perfection despite all the glitches. It's just that good. All right, now we hear some words from one of my closest Discord friends, Zach Goes Red. Go ahead and introduce yourself and tell them why you like colors. Gladly. Hello everyone, my name is Zach Goes Red and if you know me either from my channel or from me collabing with x Freds on his channel where we did a remake review on Sonic 3 and Knuckles. But what do I think about Sonic Colors? Well, i say it's a pretty, pretty alright game. I mean, sure, there are lackluster moments, and the game isn't really memorable, but it is known to be one of the best 3D games in Sonic history. Like, I could say even way better than Generations, considering this is the main theme of the video. Gameplay is what shines the most in games, considering, yeah, gameplay has to be good in order for it to be, like, you know, great. So, the gameplay, I thought it was gonna be bad. But, oh, damn, I was wrong. In fact, the game is just so unbelievably good that, like, there are just so many things to do all the time. There is a rival rush mode where you can race Metal Sonic, but I didn't spend too much time on it, considering it was kind of boring. I mean, there are, like, a little frame rate drops here and there, but, hey, at least quality is one thing that this game strives for. Heck, the opening cutscenes look so fantastic. Like, you cannot go wrong with that. I mean, oh my god. And even though that's what I have to say about Sonic Colors, I'm glad that there was a remake for this game. Heck, I shouldn't even say remake, remaster. And look, I want many other games to have the remaster treatment like this game did, but sadly some of those games just aren't very good, and some of the, those games don't even work, I'm looking at you Sonic Freeriders. But even though that our hopes and dreams are of Sonic might dry out in a few years, I am glad to say that Sonic Colors, or even Sonic Colors Ultimate, is the best 3D Sonic game of all time. Okay, heck, I could even say better than, than Frontiers. In all seriousness though, Sonic Frontiers is a gem of a Sonic game that I recommend you should all play. And even though I played this game before Frontiers, I am glad to say that it is, it is one of the best, and I could say it's number one. Anyway guys, thank you all for watching the video. If you liked it, please drop a like, and if you love the X-Rex channel, please subscribe, and also turn on that notification bell if you don't want to miss any future videos. And that is all. Anyway, I've been Zacko's Red, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Thanks for, to Zach Goes Reds for editing the video. This video looks a lot better than I thought it would be. Yeah, please subscribe to the channel and subscribe to Zach Goes Red. And check the videos in the description along with some of the YouTube channel.